Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will simulate the timer relay circuit using the Multisim tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Open a new schematic window and in this circuit design, we require the following set of components. First, the 555 timer, which is the key component for this particular circuit design. Next, we require many capacitors and a potentiometer and a resistor. The capacitors are of 10 microfarad and 0 0.01 microfarad and a potentiometer which is of 1 mega ohms and a resistor of 10 kilo ohm. We also require a supply voltage and also two diodes and a switch and also a relay and a lamp for this particular circuit design. Let us start the design where we select the LM55CN timer from the library. For this timer to power we need a source so we select a VCC source of 5 volt and make the connection to VCC and the reset pin. Next for our design we require a 1 mega ohm potentiometer and we choose this particular 1 mega ohm potentiometer and place it on the schematic. We also require a 10 microfarad capacitor. The importance of this particular potentiometer and the capacitor is to control the time delay for this particular timer plus relay circuit. Now make the appropriate connections as shown in this particular tutorial. Now in this particular circuit design, place the ground connection and now the second capacitor in our circuit design is used to prevent the false triggering. So make the connection as shown in this particular tutorial and also connect the resistor R2 as shown in this particular circuit design. Now we require a single pole single throw switch and place this particular S1 switch on the circuit. The switch is connected between the resistor R2 and then it is connected towards the ground. So when closing the S1 momentarily begins a timing cycle. So connect the switch to R2 and to the ground as shown in this particular circuit design tutorial. Now for this particular design 
we require the diodes. So in this particular design, we use the following diode that is 1N914 diodes. So place two diodes in this particular circuit. The diodes which are used in this design are used to absorb the voltage generated by the relay coil. When the relay is switched off, the relay is connected to the diodes and the lamp which is used in this particular design. Also the 5 volt DC power supply is connected to the lamp. supply to the lamp and then the other end is connected to the relay so make this appropriate connection as shown in this particular tutorial the other end of the relay is connected to the diode t1 and then to the ground as shown in this particular tutorial next we need to do this simulation so click on instruments and click on oscilloscope now place the oscilloscope onto the schematic and connect the positive terminal of the oscilloscope to the diode t1 and the negative terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the ground now run this particular simulation and ensure that the switch is on now when you run this particular simulation close this particular switch and when you click on the oscilloscope you cannot see any wave when you close this particular mechanical switch you can see the output wave form thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below